Okay. A great way to get some stamina build up and practice your techniques and your visualization, which is extremely important to self-defense, is shadow boxing. Uh, there's different ways of doing shadow boxing. I'm going to give you guys the karate method of doing such. I also had learned how to do that as a kickboxer and a boxer. This method is, shares some of the relative things like head movement, body movement, and things of that nature with boxing as well as kickboxing, but karate-wise, we're also looking at self-defense, things that I can't do, like blocking and trapping an arm and elbow to the jaw. You can't do that in kickboxing, etc. cetera. Uh, we'll get to doing the combinations and stuff later, but for now, you guys got plenty of things to be working on, so start figuring out ways to put combinations together using just your basic knowledge and expand from there. That's how I got really good at doing my fighting, was starting with back fist, reverse punch, front punch, reverse punch, knife hand, front kick, side kick, round kick. And then I just expanded my combos in the knees, elbows, throws, grappling, things of that nature. Now, before I get too busy on this, uh, shadow boxing. Here's the way that you should do it. You should get yourself a timer, use your cell phone, whatever's necessary. Do two minute rounds. Take a 30 second breather and then do another two minute rounds. I personally recommend doing five rounds a day and, you know, because it's not very long. I mean, two minutes, five rounds, ten minutes, plus a minute and a half for a rest. You guys can easily find time to do this. But you don't power up. You don't get out there and hit really hard. This is more of a stay static, stay flowing. Use your body, use your feet work, etc., etc. I'm going to do it facing the mirror so you guys can get an idea on this. Now, you can do this facing a wall. Uh, if you got a mirror in your house, I know not very many people have big ones like this. But you can use that. When I was growing up, I had this skinny, tiny little Walmart mirror, you know. Well, it wasn't Walmart. Walmart wasn't around back then, but I'll age myself. I had this skinny, tiny little mirror from Ames Department Store, if you guys know what that is. Anyway, and I would just stand there and hit and move and do things with that mirror. I'm going to use this so that you can see both sides of this. You just kind of start easy and work through it. And it's not about hitting hard either. A lot of people I see get out there and I go, <coughs> No, keep your body relaxed, keep your body motion, concentrate and focus, hands up all times. Okay, uh, just to give you some ideas of shadow boxing. I karate method, karate starts and ends with respect. So I always bow. You can use whatever fighting stance you want. I'm gonna start left, put my hands up. I'm just gonna kind of work nice and easy. Power shot. You can see that was only 35 seconds maybe. I'm already winded because it's a great exercise. It's a great way to keep you busy. Uh, talking about the huzz and the hoofs and stuff of me. Modify key eyes. Exhale, tighten up. <coughs> Very important. Add that into your shadow boxing at home. The biggest thing was I was always moving. I wasn't Okay. You got to move. You got to constantly be on the balls of the feet, moving around, hands moving. And whatever technique pops in your head, do that. That's probably the easiest way to do it. This is a great exercise. I recommend you guys hit this. Start working on it. Talk to you guys soon.